So I had a problem. Um, I would be marking papers electronically, and at the end I would have dozens of files that I would need to return to the students. And one of the ways to do that was to email them to each student individually, but this came with its own problems. Um, it was took a while, and uh, you would also get emails bouncing back periodically, which was no fun. So instead what I wanted to do was sort those files into uh, individual fo folders that they have on a shared network drive. Each student can access only their own folder, so all I have to do is get each student's work into each student's folder. Now this is also a little tiring doing all this fire filing, so I wrote a program to help me out. I'm calling it Autofile. It's just a single executable, double click to run it, and it looks like this. Uh, what we'll do is uh, I've got a couple sample files set up and we're going to try and sort them. So you click this button here to select the files that you want to sort. Um, I've got them in this submissions folder and we see a, a bunch of reports from a bunch of different students. And I want to sort them into these drop boxes. Each drop box has the student's ID in it and each student has to put their ID in the file and what the program will do is find the file that corresponds to the folder based on the ID, so BOBA672. It's going to find any files that have that phrase in it. Um, that would be this one here, BOBA672. It'll put each one into its respective folder. Um, that's basically all there is to it. You click sort and it's done. I'll run you through some of the extra features though. Uh, you can search either for exact matches or you can do the nearest match. Uh, so for example, Gerald Ford here, GFOR21, made a transposition error. It's supposed to be GFOR12. By doing nearest match, it'll pick that up as the closest match to anything else, and it'll assume that he meant to type GFOR12. We can do a case-sensitive sort. Um, we don't want to do this in, that, in this case, but what that would do is that would treat the AN in DKAN32 different from the AN in DKAN32 over here because they're different cases, lowercase and uppercase. But I want to treat those as the same, so I'll leave that unchecked. I can choose to either move the files into their respective folder or copy the files into their respective folder and leave them in their source. I'm going to choose to copy them just so that I can keep everything in one place and put it in each folder. And if I want, I can choose to overwrite any existing files in those folders with the same name, but they're all empty, so I don't need to do that anyway. Um, and it would only be if there was an exact name clash. Finally, the last feature is a bit interesting. I can sort files into a deeper directory tree, meaning if these folders are for an individual student, it would be across all of their courses. So I might want to say, within their folder, put it in the physics folder, and within that folder, put it in the returned work folder. And if those directories don't exist, it'll make them. Um, at this point, we're okay to click sort, and we get this report. It says that Gerald Ford's report is going correctly into GFOR12 as opposed to GFOR21. Bill Clinton, BCLI45, BOBA, RREG, DKAN, and RNIX. It looks like it found each folder correctly. It didn't find George's report, though, because George, being a student, typically didn't read the instructions, and didn't put his student ID in his file name. So it didn't know where that file was supposed to go. But that's okay, it's just blank up here. I can see that it's not going anywhere, and I can tell the program that's supposed to go in GBUS23's folder. I'll click Apply the sort to move the files, and we get another message telling us uh, that we successfully copied all of these files. Um, and there is no error down at the bottom, so none of them failed to move. I'll close the report, and uh, all of the original files are still in their original place, but now they're also embedded in these folders I'll show you. So these are the student drop boxes on my uh, hard drive. For example, in DKAN32, we now have a physics folder. It built that folder for me. Within there, there's a return work folder, and here we see uh, DKAN32's report filed in his folder where he can then go and find it. Um, that's basically how it works. Uh, it just looks for files that contain the folder name and puts that file in that folder. There's one more feature I'll show you really quick. Um, if we have a folder selected over here and we see that we're missing a few, 
what we can do is add new folders here. And we can just copy and paste in from a list of, say, student IDs. So if we had a few more, uh, ASDF45 and QERT is 888. We just make a whole long list of these. And whoever. We can add all of those folders at once to that directory in one go instead of having to create new folders one at a time. Uh, that's all there is to it. If you have any uh, comments or suggestions, you know you can get in touch on my blog. Um, and the source code is available as well on the blog if you'd like to make any adjustments to, to get this to suit your specific needs. Anyway, um, I hope you find it useful. Take care.